Hey there, Louis Akabalas here. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use chat GPT. Now, before we get started, if you find this video helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now to use chat GPT, you want to navigate to openai.com slash blog slash chat GPT. I've included the link in the description below. And then you want to go ahead and click on try chat GPT. Now, I'm really glad that this happened. So you may try to access chat GPT from time to time, and you may actually get this prompt saying that the platform is at capacity. Now, if you do receive this prompt, you can click on this hyperlink that says get notified when we're back. And you can put in your email address and click submit and you are going to receive an email when the platform is available for you to use. Now, when you try to access chat GPT and the platform is not at capacity, this is the screen that you will see. You'll be prompted to either log in or sign up. I'll go ahead and sign up just to demonstrate what that process looks like. Now you can either create your own chat GPT account or you can log in using a Google account or a Microsoft account. Now I'll go ahead and click continue with Google and I'm going to authenticate with one of my Google accounts here. Next, you're going to be prompted to input your name. I'll go ahead and click continue. Next, you're going to be asked to provide a phone number. After putting in your phone number, you're going to be sent an SMS code to authenticate your identity. You wanna plug that code in and click next. And then you're going to land on the main chat GPT page. Now you'll notice here this prompt. And again, this is just indicating that this platform is a free research preview. So you want to read the prompts and you want to go ahead and click next. And that is it. You're now able to enter in prompts to actually engage with chat GPT. Now, again, the entire premise for chat GPT is that it is a artificial intelligence based chat bot. And in order to engage with it, you have to sort of prompt it or enter in queries or parameters, and it is going to respond with content that closely aligns with the query or the parameters that you input. Now, to demonstrate the power of ChatGPT, I'm going to go ahead and enter a prompt asking it to tell me how I can clear the Microsoft Teams desktop application cache memory. So I'll go ahead and enter my prompt here. And once you've entered your prompt, you want to go ahead and press enter. Now you can see here that ChatGPT is actually responding in real time. And in this case, it is simply outlining the steps that I need to perform in order to clear the Microsoft Teams cache. So again, it is leveraging the vast amount of data that it has access to through the internet and it is pulling in that content and summarizing it in a very succinct and easy to read manner. So let's go ahead and let's look at another example. All right, now you can also use ChatGPT to help you develop code or scripts. So what I'm going to do is I am going to ask ChatGPT to help me build a Google app script that I can run on this Google Sheet. Now specifically, I'm going to ask it to develop an app script that will loop through this range, analyze the date, and then determine which quarter that date belongs to and append it in the adjacent cell. All right, so I've switched back to chat GPT and you can see here the prompt that I have entered in the compose box. You can see that it reads, write a Google app script function that loops through each cell in the range B2 to B16 and determines which quarter the date falls in. Append the quarter in the adjacent cell. I'm going to go ahead and press send. And you can see here that chat GPT is actually developing this script, this code in real time, right in the window. And what's really awesome is that once it has completed the script or the code, it's actually going to provide a bit of an explanation. And you can see here that explanation is being typed on the screen that walks you through the logic behind this particular piece of code or this function. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy this code 
And I'm gonna flip back to my Google Sheets and actually implement this so we can test it out. All right, now you can see here that I'm in Google App Scripts and I've gone ahead and pasted in this script. I've also deployed the project. Now what I'm going to do is bring up Google Sheets and I'm gonna go ahead and run this so that we can actually see this in action. And you can see here that the execution started and completed and you can see here that the quarter in which that date falls has been appended in the adjacent cell. So that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you how you can use ChatGPT. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Iacobelis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.